Allah'a bak en yan distan. And instead of following God, we're following the world. Manamu devuni vembadi çekunda, yu lokanı manamu vembadi istan namu. The world's practices and the world's uh, practices and principles are more, more important than God's word. Devuni vakhi mu kaakunda, lokamlo onna niyamalu, lokamlo jerutuna, vada nitki kuda into pramu ketani manam istan namu tam. And uh, this book really ch challenged me. Uncle Nick, you have to come and take on a savalga. Uh, when you come and watch the book, and so, uh, I so I used the book of Philippians in that seminar in uh, uh, in Thailand. Thailand, lo na seminar lo you have Philippians. I ka Philippians ka sa patrika ni akar uncle boys town lo. In those in those seminars, they start at six o'clock in the morning and they go to ten or eleven at night. After the seminar, sir, we have our regular class. This time, all the night, five o'clock to one o'clock, work. Ah, seminar is just done. They are a little bit like the Buck Singh assemblies in Hyderabad. India, all the Brahmins and all the Arithi guys, they want to do Arithi guys. There is no time there. After the time limit, they will leave. And I will tell you. That's why I did not want to go there. And the guy who did the last one. And the leader of this group is uh, Seon Chan. Yoka group ki akadu na naay kulo piru Seon Chan. They only have two and a half days. Akadu rendu dinalu matru me palkani. Two nights. Rendu rathlu akadu seminar kaliyu na. And there was a hundred and fifty leaders of the church from Laos. Laos nunchi no daya bai mandi naay kulo sangam nunchi ochna rakhi. Start at six in the morning. Udhe maragan tle karam me pogadi. And everyone is there. Andru pula no daya bai mandi onaru. Nobody is missing. No one is sleeping. 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 So I asked, how much time is that? In the same time, what he any pressing stuff? He said, you have eleven hours, I have eleven hours. Padu kundu gantel vaki nu bori chu ne nu padu kundu gantel ne nu vaki ani bori stand jethe. And so I use this book from the book of Philippians. Philippians ka rasta patri kani angkala kada bori stau. So it's eleven hours long, but we will take our time for some months to go through this. Akada padu kundu gantel nu yoko patri kani lo bori stand jethe. Kani ikkada. Not eleven hours today. Now this is just an introduction to the book of Philippians. Do you want to live a life of joy? Then you should read the book of Philippians. Do you want to impact the world that's getting worse? ये लोकों में तो नाश्तान की वजह तो नहीं लोकों में लोगों प्रभावित हों चाहिए अलग नियाशनी को ना रीड द बुक ऑफ़ फ़िलिपियंस वो कोई लाशनी कुंटे फ़िलिपियन के रास्ते पत्र करने मालूम चाहिए यू वांट टू नो व्हाट योर योर हाईएस्ट प्रायोरिटी शुड बी नी जीवित हम लोग अति प्रामुख के मायना What your goal should be? And you should read Philippians three. Okay, well, I 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 should read प्रति परिस्थिति लोग उड़ा संप्रूति का उन्नाव ला नाशनी कुंडा। Read Philippians four। पिलिपिल ग्रास के पत्र का नालगो अध्याय मान चादू तोड़ना। Do you want to rise above your circumstances? नी परिस्थिति ला नी टी नी अधिक मिंची मुंड के ला ला नी काशुंडा। And not be focused on your circumstances? ये उनका पर प्रस्तुत परिस्थिति ला यंत्र केंद्रीय करीच कुंडा। Then read Philippians। आस आरी थी का उन्नते पिलिपिल ग्रास के पत्र निवो इन तो संतोष मुगा देवों की इच्छुटा को आ निवो युवाल नाशनी कुंडा। This is an example of a great church. यो का गोपा संगम यो का उदाहरण नम्र मो यो को पिलिपिल क्रास। So this morning we will just get some introduction and some taste into Philippians. यो को उदय खालमो मर मो आरंभम मात्र में चूसता मो कुंचमो रुचि नहीं यो का पिलिपिल क्रास का पत्र करने चुपन पौंड कुंडा। And I have no clock there, so I can't even see what time it is. इकड़ा। So. Maybe you should put your clock. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so we, we will look at a little bit of the uh, of the background of this of this book and the purpose of the of this book. 
ఈ యొక్క పిలిపిలకు రాసిన పత్రిక యొక్క వెనుక చరిత్ర దీని యొక్క ఉద్దేశము ఈ ఉదయకాలం మనం చూద్దాం and uh, we will give you a little taste koncham ruchi ee udaykalam yokka patrika nunchi manam pondukundam and then we will go through the chapters uh, there is only four chapters ee yokka patrika lo kevalam nalugu adhyayalu maatrame unnai i read it several times in the last couple of weeks ee yokka gatha rendu varallo enno saarlu ee patrika ni chaduthu vachanu chapter 1 joyful in all things modati adhyayamu anni paristhitilo kuda santoshamuga undudi Chapter 2 becoming more like Christ. Yesu Christu Prabhu ni poli nadichukunnataku rendu adhyayamu. Chapter 3 the importance of Christ above all else. Yesu mana prathi paristhiti paina adhikari aina Yesu Christu Prabhu vaari gurinchi moodu adhyayamu. And chapter 4 being content and being thankful. Samtrupti kaligi mariyu krutagnyata kaligi unduta nalugu adhyayamu. So we will learn many many things about practical things of how we should be as a church and how we should be as individuals vyaktigathamuga sangamuga manam ee reethi ga jeevinchali anedi ee oka practical ga manam ee oka philippians rasa patrika nunchi manam nerchukundam so we will just read the first uh, 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 three verses first just the first somebody can read the philippians 1 1 to 3 evaraina philippians rasa patrika modati moodu vachanalu bigger ga chadavagalutara Great. We'll just stop there. That after his greetings to them in the first couple of verses, he's greeting all the saints, not just a few saints, but all the saints, the weak people, the strong people, the discouraged people, the encouraged people, whoever you are. This is for you. You have a Filipino Christian patrick. I'm going to move on. 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 ఏదో ఎవరైనా బలహీనంగా ఉన్న వారికి మాత్రమే కాదు ఒక శక్తి ఒక వాళ్ళు కాదు కానీ అక్కడ ఉన్న అందరి విశ్వాసులకి ఈ యొక్క పత్రికని రాస్తా వస్తా ఉన్నాడు మిమ్మల్ని జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకున్న ప్రతిసారి నేను దేవుని స్థుతిస్తా ఉన్నాడు మొట్టమొదటి అంశం ఏంటిది అంటే పౌలు వారిని జ్ఞాపకం తెచ్చుకుంటా ఉన్నాడు అండ్ వేర్ ఇస్ హీ రైటింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ హీస్ యాక్చువల్లీ రైటింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ ప్రిజన్ ఆయన ఎక్కడి నుంచి పత్రిక రాస్తా ఉన్నాడు అంటే అతను చిరసాలలో ఉండి పత్రికని రాస్తా ఉన్నాడు చిరసాలలో ఆయన ఉండి ఒక పత్రికని రాస్తా ఉన్నాడు అక్కడ స్కైప్ అయ్యింది కూడా లేదు నో ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ దేర్ అక్కడ ఈ యొక్క ఎలక్ట్రిసిటీ కూడా లేదు నో ఎయిర్ కండిషన్ ఏసీ అవి ఏమి కూడా అక్కడ లేవు అక్కడ అన్ని ఎలుకలు ఇవే కనిపిస్తా ఉన్నాయి అక్కడ ఆ యొక్క చిరసాలలో ఆయన ఉదయం నుంచి రాత్రి అక్కడనే ఉంటా ఉన్నాడు అండ్ నో ఫ్రీడమ్ దేర్ అక్కడ స్వేచ్ఛ కూడా లేదు అతనికి అండ్ యూ విక్ దట్ హీ వుడ్ బి రైటింగ్ అబౌట్ హిస్ హిస్ కంప్లైంట్స్ అక్కడ ఉన్న ఆయన వెళ్తున్న ఆ యొక్క సమస్యల గురించి ఫిర్యాదుల గురించి రాస్తాడేమో మనం అనుకుంటాం లైక్ ద సాంగ్ వి రెడ్ ద గాయ్ వాస్ థింకింగ్ డేవిడ్ వాస్ థింకింగ్ అబౌట్ హిస్ కంప్లైంట్స్ ఫస్ట్ మనం ఏ రీతిగానైతే కీర్తన 13 లో చూసుకున్నామో దావీద్ ఏ రీతిగానైతే దేవుని మీద ఫిర్యాదు చేస్తా ఉన్నాడు బట్ యు డోంట్ ఫైండ్ పౌల్ కంప్లైనింగ్ కానీ పౌలు ఫిర్యాదు చేయడం మనకు అనిపిలేదు that he tells the the philippian christians not to do everything without complaining ee ka philippila ki vishwasala ki paulu cheptha unna maata enti ante firyadu cheyakunda pratinishyam kuda chesturandi so he's giving memories he's giving he's thinking about them the memories that he that happened when he spent a few weeks in philippi a philippi lo konni varalu thanu gadipinappudu akada jarigina sangathulanni kuda paulu gnyapakam tesukunta unnadu they are very happy memories avanni kuda ento santoshamu icche anubhavalu god did a powerful work devudu akada ento shaktivantamaina pani cheskunta unnadu you can find about it there are a whole section in chapter 16 of acts the book of acts chapter 16 ee vishayalanni kuda apostle rasana patrika 16th adhyayamlo manaki ivanni kanipistha untayi the first person who accepted christ was lydia mottamodatiga akada yesu prabhu ni angikarinchina vyakti peru lydia and when she became a christian and worshiped god she opened up her house as for the first gathering of god's people aam epudaithe devuni angikarinchindo vishwasinchindo dani tarvata akada devuni pillalu devuni aaradhinchataniki tana yokka intini tanu open chesindi so it was first a woman that became the first person uh, the pillar in the church aa sangamulo oka stri lydia anna vyakti ento oka pillar ga nilabadindi and then in acts 16 verse 16 there's a girl with an evil spirit who 
became a follower of Jesus. And then that that and then it goes on because when she becomes a Christian, then he starts getting opposition. Because the owners of this girl lost their income. So then Paul starts to get in trouble. And chapter 16 verse 23 and 24 he is thrown into prison. So what did they do in the prison? They start singing songs. At midnight. They were singing hymns so that all the prisoners could hear about Jesus. And would you, would you sing in prison? Uh, I used to have prison ministry for about 10 years. And, sh and shared God's love to many people in prison. The one thing about prison is that they have nowhere to go. They have to listen to you. And uh, we had wonderful ministry. And Paul, he had wonderful ministry because there came the earthquake. And in Acts 16, 29 to 30, the experience of the power of God in prison in saving the jailer that was going to kill himself. Because he thought everyone escaped. And this was God's power. In every circumstance. Thank God for COVID. Thank God for earthquakes. Thank God for sickness. Thank God for everything that happens. Because God can use it for His glory. These are the times when people are beginning to question and maybe become more open. They don't know where else to go. So this becomes the foundation of Philippi. Paul was probably remembering many of those great events that took place. I've been involved more than 50 years in different countries around the world. And of course, I have many memories. The problem with me is I'm forgetting some of those. I forget people's names. Especially if they have difficult Indian names or Chinese names. Indian, Indian, China, But I remember my many experiences. India. How I learned so much from the hospitality and love and worship of God's people. I learned many things in, in Belgium. I lived in Belgium. And uh, one, just one day a, a, a young girl from Canada said, 16 years old, she says, I can't do anything, but I can play a trumpet. She came from my hometown in Alberta. I said, if you can play it for Jesus, you're welcome. That, that's what she did. On the beaches of the of Belgium, she played her trumpet every day. And one guy who was a communist and a young man from high school who could not go back to school because the teachers were all afraid of him, 
he liked music so he liked to listen to this girl a communist vyakti oka athanu athan school ki velaledu endukante akkada school lo unna vallandaru kuda athan gurinchi bhay padta undaru so athan ki music ishtam kabatti beat jagar ki velli athanu vittu vachinadu and he became a follower of jesus dan tarvata tinu chesina paricharyani patti athanu devuni vembadistu vachinadu after the, after the beach when he listened to us he came the, that night to where we were staying so he could convert us to his way of thinking ఆయొక్క వాయిద్యం అంతా కూడా ఆ యొక్క బీచ్ దగ్గర అంతా అయిపోయిన తర్వాత ఎక్కడైతే నివసిస్తా ఉన్నారో అతను వీళ్ళందరి దగ్గరికి వచ్చి వీళ్ళని మార్చుదాము అని వచ్చినాడు వీళ్ళని మార్చుదాము అని వచ్చిన వ్యక్తి అక్కడి నుంచి వెళ్ళిపోక ముందే దేవుని అంగీకరించి ఈ యొక్క బెల్జియం లో ఉన్న వ్యక్తులు ఎంతో మందిని ఈయన ప్రభావితం చేస్తూ వచ్చినాడు ఈ వనస్తుడు ఆయన దేవుని స్వార్థని ప్రకటిస్తూ వచ్చినాడు ఎన్నో సంఘాలు స్థాపిస్తూ వచ్చినాడు We were at the Sunshine Coast for a little holiday. గత కొన్ని దినాల క్రితం ఒక Sunshine Coast కి వాల్ నివసిస్తూ ఉన్నాం. But when I am on holiday I always ask God to use me. ఎప్పుడైతే సెలవుల్లో నేను ఉన్నానో ఆ సమయంలో నేను దేవుని అడుగుతా ఉంటాను దేవా నన్ను వాడుకోవని. I don't like going into the shops where my wife goes. ఆంటి వెళ్ళే షాప్స్ కి అంకుల్ కి వెళ్ళడం ఇష్టం లేదు. So I look for other opportunity. ఇంకా వేరే ఏమైనా అవకాశాలు ఉన్నాయా అని ఎప్పుడు కూడా చూస్తా ఉంటాను. So some years ago I saw the name of a church కొన్ని సంవత్సరాల క్రితం అక్కడ ఒక సంఘము పేరు నేను చూస్తూ వచ్చాను అది ఒక బిల్డింగ్ ఆఫీస్ బిల్డింగ్ అది ఒక బిల్డింగ్ మాత్రమే సో ది ది చర్చ్ డి నాట్ హావ్ देयर ओन ఆఫీస్ ఇన్ ది చర్చ్ ఐక సంఘములో వాళ్ళకి ఒక ఆఫీస్ అండ్ ఐ వాట్ ఇన్ देयर నేను అక్కడికి లోపలికి వెళ్తూ వచ్చాను సో ఐ వాంట్ టు స్పీక్ టు ది పాస్టర్ అక్కడ ఉన్న పాస్టర్ తో మాట్లాడాలని ఆశపడతా ఉన్నాను సో హి హి వెల్కమ్ మీ అతను నా ఆహ్వానించాడు హి సెడ్ వాట్ ఆర్ యు డూయింగ్ ని వేం చేస్తా ఉన్నావు ఐ సెడ్ ఐ జస్ట్ మూవ్ టు వాంకూవర్ నేను వాంకూవర్ కి నేను ఇక్కడికి వచ్చాను అండ్ ఐ యామ్ లుకింగ్ ఫర్ ప్లేసెస్ టు టేక్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇక ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ని తీసుకోవడానికి నేను కొన్ని స్థలాలను చూస్తా ఉన్నాను దే లవ్ టు గో అవే ఫ్రమ్ వాంకూవర్ టు సీ సమ్ బ్యూటీ ఈ యొక్క వాంకూవర్ నుంచి బయటికి వచ్చి ఈ యొక్క ప్రకృతిని చూడాలని ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఎంతో ఆశ ఉంటుంది వుడ్ యువర్ చర్చ్ బి ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ మీ యొక్క సంఘము సహాయం చేస్తదా So he invited me to speak at a men's breakfast. I got a general men's breakfast to walk in the punch code and then I'll punish them. That was over 10, about 10 years ago. But it's not all good. And every year this church hosts international students. But this summit is also called the Sangam of Yoga International Students who are all in the town. And we take the whole service in the church. Sangam law, Yoga service and the Kura Kura Jeru town to do. And so this church, so the church knew that I was taking holiday. ఈ యొక్క సంఘానికి తెలుసు నేను సెలవు తీసుకొని వస్తా ఉన్నానని అండ్ ఐ నో దట్ देयर ఫుడ్ ఇస్ బెటర్ దెన్ రెస్టారెంట్ ఫుడ్ బయట ఉన్న రెస్టారెంట్ల కన్నా ఇంటి భోజనం బాగుంటది అని తెలుసు సో దే ఆర్గనైజ్ బార్బిక్యూ వాళ్ళు బార్బిక్యూ అదంతా కూడా ఆర్గనైజ్ చేస్తారు సో వర్ ఐ డూ నేను ఏం చేస్తున్నా ఐ థాంక్ them వాళ్ళు కృతజ్ఞతలు చెల్లిస్తా ఐ థాంక్ them ఫర్ హెల్పింగ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఈ యొక్క ఇంటర్నేషనల్ స్టూడెంట్స్ కి వాళ్ళు చూపించిన ప్రేమని బట్టి వాళ్ళని వాళ్ళకి కృతజ్ఞతలు చెల్లిస్తా ఉన్నారు అండ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ స్టిల్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ देयर ఎక్స్‌పీరియన్స్ ఆన్ సన్ షైన్ కోస్ట్ ఆ సన్ షైన్ కోస్ట్ లో ఏవైతే అనుభవిస్తూ వచ్చారో విద్యార్థులందరూ కూడా ఎంతో వాళ్ళు మాట్లాడుతూ వచ్చారు ఐ హావ్ మెనీ మెనీ గుడ్ మెమరీస్ ఆఫ్ చర్చెస్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ది వరల్డ్ ఈ లోకంలో నేను ఎన్నో సంఘాల నుంచి నాకు ఎన్నో అనుభవాలు నేను కలిగి ఉన్నాను I can give you so many experiences. In no anubhavala ni nenu panchukogalutha. Right now I need a cup of water from one of those water bottles. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you so much. Let, let us look at so Paul is giving memory. Paul ikkada thana yokka gnyapakalani ikkada Philippi lokku rasina sanghaniki aa yokka patrika rasina Paulu panchukuntaru. And he's thanking God. అతను దేవునికి కృతజ్ఞతాస్తులు చెల్లిస్తాడు పత్రిక యొక్క ఉద్దేశాలని మనము ఈ ఉదయకాలం చూసుకుందాము ఎవరైనా నాలుగు ఐదు వచనాలు చదువుతారా fellowship in the gospel or another word is partnership devuni oka suvarthalo vallu kalisi pani cheyuta so one purpose of this letter is to thank them for their partnership ee oka patrika yoka uddesham enti di oka uddesham enti di ante vallu choopinchina aa yoka partnership ni batti vallu krutagnata sudhu chellistam and then you go to verse 7 edo vachanamlo he says all of you share in god's grace with me నా బంధకములయందును నేను స్వార్థ పక్షమును వాదించేందును దానిని స్థిరపరుచేందును మీరు ఈ కృపలో నాతో కూడా పాలివారై ఉన్నారు. In God's work we must work together. 
I could never do what I'm doing without my wife. Some of you know she cooks good food. Students will not come to my house if I just entertain them. They come because she is bringing, she is cooking this good food. And just and some sometimes some ladies in my church say, what can what can I do? I don't speak the language. I don't. I. I don't know uh, these international students. So this all you, Sangamlo Adu town, that no, 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 they because some of them don't know how to cook. Janice, can my wife cook international food? <laughs> she knows because she takes home the food when <laughs> all the leftover. <laughs> so par partnership involves many things. And um, um, we all have different needs. And, and the people in Philippi were, were interested to help uh, God's work. And part of helping God's work was giving them a fine, giving Paul a financial uh, gift and perhaps other things. I'm sure in that prison in Rome he did not get very good food. Nothing like the prisons in Canada. And they, they sent Epiditus uh, to to uh, to give to help him. Philippians two twenty five. 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 They sent Epiditus, and Paul in chapter 4, verse 18. I have received full payment, and even more, I am amply supplied now that I've received from Epiditus the gifts you sent. They are a fragrant offering, acceptable sacrifice, pleasing to God. This was a very precious gift. In fact, it says that Epiditus risked his life to provide those gifts. To get to Paul in the prison from Philippi, and to finally find him, he probably he did risk his life. Maybe on the road, on the on the ships, however he had to go, maybe he had to avoid the, the guards and the Roman soldiers. He got to Paul because he was he loved him so much. Oh, Paul must have been so happy. He doesn't get, he probably doesn't get many visitors. And to get this visitor with those precious gifts, maybe some medicine, maybe precious food, whatever it was, it, me it meant so much to Paul. Partnership in the gospel. Paul had needs. We all have needs. And Paul says in Philippians 4.14, It was good of you to share in my troubles. Paul 
It was good to share in my troubles. I'm sure our brother Jivan was helped with the trouble he's facing so that he could go to India. And we share in troubles and we share in rejoicing for good things and for bad things. We share in tears and we share in happiness. That is what the the God, that is what God's people are about. And so he shared in Paul's troubles. When we went to Laos, Thailand the last time, we know that the Christians are poor. We know that they need lots of help. The churches... Um, if they pay for half of the, the, the music system or they pay for half of the cell phone, the other half the, comes from, from the, the leader who organizes a seminar. And it's a struggle because they have very little. They all live on rice. They're rice farmers. So we, we saved $1,000 to give to them. And we thought that would be great. But when we got there, we found that the needs of those people were $3,000. But the country we went to first was Korea. And our whole cost, my cost for one week in Korea cost $45 or $50 for one week. And we ate every day and we had a nice hotel. And the Korean brother who, 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 who gave that to us before we left, he said, you are like my parents. So, so we have to give a little extra. Red envelope. Red, and, and red envelope means money. Red envelope And when we opened that little gift of red envelope, it was $2,000. $2,000. So when we got to Laos, we had $3,000. Even though the $2,000 was for us, we said we cannot keep it. We must give it to these people. And we were able to supply all the needs that they had. We were rejoicing. God had provided in Korea, not Canada, in Korea for us to help the people in Laos. I trust you pray as you share with other people. So this, this book is about a thank you letter. I write many thank you letters. I'm always, do you write letters? When is the last time you wrote a letter? Last month? One month? How many read, did you write one letter in the last month? We are so attached to this email and to technology, we don't write letters anymore. But guess what? If, 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 Paul, if Paul did not write letters, we would be missing half the New Testament. I think there's a girl from Holland on this uh, on this um, Zoom and she writes me a letter every month. Writes a letter from Holland in the mail. Letters mean something. You should write letters. <laughs> I 
I will give you my address if you want to write a letter. <laughs> we, too bad people don't write letters. My, when, when my wife and I were, were uh, dating, she was in Canada, I was in, uh, I was in India. She wrote a letter every week. My father wrote a letter every week. Until India alone, or Auntie Canada alone, or Prati Varam, Auntie, Mary, Uncle, 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 So, letters. Write letters. Paul wrote this letter. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Patrika, Lu, Raya, Andi. Paul, Lu, Rasta, Patrika, Vali, Kuzi, Geta, Lu, Andi, Sound. Your gift meant so much to me. Mere, Edi, Te, Naku, Andi, Nch, Naro, Adi, Nto, Precious, Tamayna. So, there are some other purposes. He was also sending Timothy in chapter 2, and he was commanding Epiditus. So in this letter, he was letting the, the Christians know that he was hoping that Timothy, his right-hand man, would go there very soon. And he would be, and of course, Aphroditus, who had brought the gift from yeah. Philippi, he was sending him back with this letter. Yes, I like this brother. He means so much to me. He came here to take care of my needs. Verse 25, chapter 2, verse 25. But he longs for all of you. And he's missing you. And I'm sending him back. Verse 29, welcome him in the Lord with great joy and honor people like him. He almost died for the work of Christ. I would love to know all the details, but the fact is that he almost died. He was willing to die for God. My, my, my wife and I, uh, uh, after we got married by Buck Singh, we, uh, a few months later, we joined a ship, gospel ship, to go to Singapore. And uh, uh, we, were, we were new, we were young, uh, we did. Uh, we were just. We were not leaders. We were just ordinary workers on the ship. But the first person from Singapore that came to the ship was faithful Luke. An old man. He had started a watchman knee. He was a co-worker watchman knee in China, and he. He had started the church in Singapore. China alone, a watchman, ni, and Tanato Jetapani Wadena, you could faith look on the Victi Kalstar. And he didn't come to meet the leaders of the ship. Akada and I could go, Athan Ralinton. He said, Where is Bert Campus? Athanochi, you got a Bert Campus, a Kadona Ron. I want to meet Bert Campus. Athanine Kaluval and Ashapata. Why? I did not even know him. Athanavurpudan Akira, some brother Buck Singh had written Faithful Luke a letter. One of our workers here from Canada is going on the ship to Singapore. Uh, please meet him. Canada Singapore So he didn't come to meet the leaders, he just came to meet some Bert Campus. A faithful look on the because he got a letter from Brother Bakhsing. I got to speak in his church and that became a, a very strong church for the support of the ship Logos. So recommending someone uh, really can open the doors. I sometimes do that for international students. International students. If they want a letter from me. If they like to have a letter. Another purpose he, to give them an update on his welfare. Well, so he's 
you know, I, I send out letters every month to give people an update. Chapter 1, verse 12. Someone read that. But I want you to know, brethren, the things which happened to me have actually turned out for the furtherance of the gospel. Ah, you have a little, a little, a little note here and a, an explanation later of that um, everything's okay. In fact, God is using me. Uh, prison is no problem for God. In fact, he goes on to explain how even his witness has gone into the into the palace. This is just the right place for, for Paul to penetrate even the government of Rome. I'm sure we're going to get updates from Jivan when he goes to India. Because he's part of this church. So we need to let people know what's happening. And uh, we need to let people know what's happening. And another purpose for this book is to remind them of God's calling. Verse 12. Chapter 1. No, that's not the, that's not, no, that's uh, to remind them of, uh, yeah, chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. Two, and th 2 to 4, you can read that. When we focus on ourselves, we will have a divided church. But when we focus on Jesus and his kingdom, we will have a united church. And this unity was starting to come into this church. And God wants us to be one mind and one purpose and with and in love. Satan wants to divide us. So he wants to give them that reminder. And then he also reminds them of that they are to complete their salvation. Philippians 2.12 Dear friends, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Ah, your salvation is not complete. Just becoming a Christian is not, is not the end. That's the beginning. You're coming more to the end when you get to my age. You're coming closer to the end. But salvation is just the beginning. So many Christians are just satisfied with salvation. But salvation means God has a great purpose for you. He has a plan to use you. I never knew what God was going to do when I accepted Jesus. So you must do something. But the next verse says, For God works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. So that reminds them that the that everything comes from God. 
వాళ్ళకి జ్ఞాపకం చేస్తా ఉన్నాడు సమస్తము కూడా దేవుని నుంచి మాత్రమే వస్తా ఉంటుంది అని and he also wants to remind them to reject everything that's not the uh next point to remind them, or i don't have it in there but to remind them that that they must focus on christ and nothing else వారికి ఇంకా ఏం జ్ఞాపకం చేస్తా ఉన్నాడు అంటే మీరు కేవలం క్రీస్తు మీద మాత్రమే మీరు కేంద్రీకరించి ఉండాలి ఇంకా వేటి మీద కూడా మీరు కేంద్రీకరించొద్దు there are many enemies of the of the gospel సువార్తని మీతము ఎంతో శత్రువులు ఎంతగానో అధికముగా ఉంటారు paul mentions them వారి గురించి పౌలు we must watch out for them వారి గురించి మీరు జాగృతగా ఉండాలని చెప్తా ఉన్నాడు and then of course he reminds them of his love for them వారి పైన ఉన్న ప్రేమ గురించి పౌలు వాళ్ళకి జ్ఞాపకం చేస్తా ఉన్నాడు oh when he talks about these christians యోగ విశ్వాసుల గురించి ఆయన మాట్లాడుతూ వచ్చాడు chapter 1 verse 8 మొదటి అధ్యాయం 8వ వచనం i long for all of you with the affection of christ jesus మీ అందరి మీద నేను ఎంతో ఆపేక్ష కలిగి ఉన్నాను దేవుడే నాకు సాక్షి chapter 4 verse 1 4వ అధ్యాయం మొదటి వచనము i love you and i long for you my joy and my crown కావున నేను ఆపేక్షించిన ప్రియ సోదరులార నా ఆనందమును నా కిరీటమును అయిన నా ప్రియులార ఇట్లు ప్రభు నన్ను స్థిరులై ఉండి సర్టన్లీ వెన్ ఐ రోట్ లెటర్స్ టు మై వైఫ్ ఐ వాస్ టెల్లింగ్ హర్ ఐ లవ్ హర్ ఎప్పుడైతే అంకుల్ ఇండియాలో ఉండి ఉత్తరాలు రాస్తా ఉన్నాడో నేను నిన్ను ప్రేమిస్తా ఉన్నాను అని ఆయన ఉత్తరాలు రాస్తూ సమ్టైమ్స్ మెనీ టైమ్స్ చాలా సార్లు ఆమ్ సో పౌల్ వాస్ టెల్లింగ్ దెమ్ హౌ మచ్ దే మెంట్ టు హిమ్ పౌల్ వాళ్ళకి చెప్తా ఉన్నాడు మీరు నాకు ఎంత ప్రశస్తమైన వాళ్ళు అని వాళ్ళ గురించి చెప్తా ఉన్నాడు వి నీడ్ టు టెల్ ఈచ్ అదర్ దట్ వి లవ్ దెమ్ మనం ఒకరి నుంచి ఒకరు మనము నిన్ను ప్రేమిస్తా ఉన్నాను అని మనం ఎప్పుడు కూడా చెప్పుకుంటూ రావాలి వి కేర్ అబౌట్ దెమ్ వారి గురించి మనం చింతిస్తాం వి మిస్ దెమ్ వారిని మనము మిస్ అవుతూ ఉండాలి బట్ వి కెన్ ప్రే వారి గురించి మనం ప్రార్థన చేస్తూ ఉండాలి యు నో వెన్ వెన్ దిస్ బిగ్ థింగ్ హ్యాపెండ్ ఇన్ బెరూత్ లెబనాన్ యొక్క లెబనాన్ లో జరిగిన ఒక పెద్ద సన్నివేశం జరిగినప్పుడు The first thing I thought about was my friends from Syria who have friends in Lebanon. అది ఇప్రతి జరిగిందో నేను మొట్టమొదటిగా నన్ను జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకున్నది ఏంటి అంటే నా స్నేహితులు ఎవరైతే సిరియాలో ఉండి లెబనాన్ లో ఉన్నారో వారి గురించి నేను జ్ఞాపకం చేసుకున్నాను. They are my neighbors. వారు నా యొక్క నేబర్స్ గా ఉంటూ వచ్చారు. And when I phoned her, నేను ఇప్రతి వారికి ఫోన్ చేశాను. I found out that her aunt is an application. ఆ యొక్క ఇక్కడైతే ఆ యొక్క జరుగుతూ వచ్చిందో అక్కడ వారి యొక్క ఆంట్ తను నివసిస్తా ఉంది. And the organization Christian organization she was part of is also in that same or same location. ఏదైతే క్రిస్టియన్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ తను సంబంధించి ఉందో అదే స్థలంలో తను కూడా ఉంటూ ఆ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ కూడా ఉంది. Of course this family is deeply affected there in Canada. ఈ ఒక కుటుంబం ఎంతగానో బాధపడుతూ వచ్చింది. They know the people in that area. అక్కడ ఉన్న ప్రజలందరూ కూడా వాళ్ళకి తెలుసు. And their homes were damaged. అక్కడ ఉన్న ఇల్లులన్నీ కూడా కూలిపోతా వచ్చాయి. What can we do? మనం ఏం చేయగలుగుతాం అప్పుడు? I have to do something. నేను ఏదైనా చేయాలి వారి గురించి. We can pray. వారి గురించి ప్రార్థన చేయొచ్చు. But that's sometimes easy to say. అది మనము సులువుగా మనం చెప్పొచ్చు. But we also need to help. మనము సహాయం కూడా చేయాలి. So we have to we felt that God wanted us to help. వారికి సహాయం చేయాలి అని దేవుడు మాకు బయలుపరుస్తా ఉంది. 300,000 people homeless. అక్కడ 300,000 people అక్కడ ఏమీ ఇల్లు కూడా లేకుండా ఎంతో ఆ పరిస్థితిలో ఉన్నారు. So this is what Paul is doing. పౌలు చేస్తున్న పని ఇదే. And then lastly he is reminding them that what's the theme of this letter? ఈ ఒక పత్రిక యొక్క శీర్షిక ఏంటి అంటే joy సంతోషము ఆనందము joy సంతోషము it is a fruit of the spirit అది ఆత్మ ఫలములో ఒక ఫలము Galatians 5:22 గలీతుల గ్రాస పత్రిక 5 22 so this joy is is in paul experience in difficult situations కష్టకరమైన పరిస్థితులు పౌలు ఈ ఒక సంతోషాన్ని అనుభవిస్తూ వస్తా ఉన్నాడు but that baby the joy will very quickly change if she doesn't get some milk or something she wants ఇక్కడ ఉన్న చిన్న పాప తనకి కావాల్సింది పొందుకోకపోతే ఎంటనే ఆ యొక్క సంతోషం కోరుతుంది but our joy is not based on circumstances అది మన సంతోషము పరిస్థితులను బట్టి దాని మీద మన యొక్క సంతోషం our joy comes from our position in christ మన యొక్క స్థానాన్ని బట్టి క్రీస్తులో ఉన్న మన స్థానాన్ని బట్టి మన యొక్క సంతోషం philippians 4:4 philippians gospel patrika 4 4 what is sorry rejoice what దేని అందు మనం ఆనందించాలి rejoice in the in the lord ఎల్లప్పుడూ నువ్వు ప్రభువునందు ఆనందించుడి That's what Paul says it several times. Paul chaala saarlu oka vakyanni cheptu vachinadu. Rejoice in the Lord. Ellappudu nu prabhu nandu aanandinchudi. And the joy comes through God's word and through prayer and focusing on God's promises. Ee oka santosham e reethiga vastha untundante devuni oka vakyamu prarthana devuni meeda kendrikarinchadam valla ee oka santosham manam kaligi untam. Some of the greatest promises are in Philippians chapter 4. Indo goppa vaagdanalu ee oka Philippians rasha patrika 4 adhyayamlo manaku kanipistayi. Ultimately is focused on Jesus. 
and, and, and Jesus coming back again. Paul knew that. He had that hope. And so, what is the ambition in this letter? Paul had an ambition. What is your ambition? Uh, was it your ambition? Was it Paul's ambition to start 100 churches? To win 10,000 for Christ? No. Philippians 3.10 I, I want to know him. As a power of his resurrection. And fellowship of his sufferings. And just a couple of verses before that, chapter 3, verse 8, he was willing to lose all things to gain Christ. He is not focused on, oh, somebody, if, if, if you ask Paul, and you say, what is your greatest uh, hope? And most of us would say, oh, I want to, I want to get out of prison as soon as possible. But he never said that. He just said, I want to know Christ. I want to know more of him. And then even Paul's expectation. Paul expectation. Look at chapter 1. Chapter 20, verse 20. I eagerly expect and hope that I will in no way be ashamed but have sufficient courage that now as always Christ will be exalted in my body. It is not I but Christ. The epistle is full of Christ. I hope in the Lord. Verse 14. I stand firm in the Lord. To live is Christ, to die is gain. I, re, I, I want to live for Christ. The, the epistle of Philippians in chapter 1, verse 2 starts with Christ. And when you get to the end of the epistle, it starts, it ends with Christ. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Alpha Omega That's A and Z. A and Z. Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. And everything in between. It's Christ. Christ is everything. All glory to Christ. And that is the part of uh, what we are sharing today. Well, I think our time is gone. We'll give you a little introduction. We'll start more with next time in chapter 1. But I carry this little thing in my Bible. And it's not I but Christ. And many times we always think about I. How does this affect me? Oh, I did not get any benefit. Oh, the government forgot me. Or they charged me twice. <laughs> or something happens. <laughs> Some of these students are still waiting for work permits. Nothing happens quickly in Canada. It's just like India now. It's more like India. It's very it's very hard for many international students. Pray for them. Pray for us. But I, I like to read this for you and then we close. Not I, but Christ be honored, love exalted. Not I, but Christ be seen, be known, be heard. Not I, but Christ in every look and action. Not I, but Christ in every thought and word. Not I, but Christ to gently soothe in sorrow. 
Not I but Christ to wipe the falling tear. Not I but Christ to lift the weary burden. Not I but Christ to hush away all fear. Not I but Christ, no idle word e'er falling. Christ, only Christ, no needless bustling sound. Christ, only Christ, no self-important bearing. Christ, only Christ, no trace of I be found. Not I but Christ, my every need supplying. Not I but Christ, my strength and health to be. My Christ, only Christ, for body, soul, and spirit. Christ, only Christ, live then your life in me. Christ, only Christ, ere long will fill my vision. Glory excelling soon, full soon I'll see. Christ, only Christ, my every wish fulfilling. Christ, only Christ, my all in all to be. Amen. You go back to Kuda. నేను కాదు క్రీస్తు మాత్రమే ప్రతి విషయంలో కూడా నా శరీరంలో ఏమి జరిగినా ఏమి సంభవించినా అన్ని విషయాల్లో అన్ని పర్యాయాల్లో కన్నీటి పరిస్థితుల్లో ఏ ఏది సంభవించినా కానీ క్రీస్తు మాత్రమే నా జీవితంలో అని మనం చదువు చదువుతూ వచ్చాం గాడ్ but one of encouragement to live for you, to focus on Christ. And we know that nothing matters in the end. When we, when we uh, die, when we face you, it's only Christ we will see forever and ever. So we pray we will exalt Christ. Even now we pray, make our lives more like Christ. May people see Christ in us. May they learn more about Christ and his love, even by what we say, by what we do, how we act, how we treat people. Lord, may, they, may we be willing to be full of courage in the time of, of uncertainty, that we will be fearless and we'll be willing to even take risks. Paul and Epaphroditus and Timothy all took risks to advance the gospel of Christ. And thank you for these dear people in Philippians that were part of Paul's life, that were praying for him and giving for him. Bless this church. May it be more like Christ in every way that people will find Christ here, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Andrew. thoughts we'll enter into communion and before we partake in communion god is giving to his children an opportunity to remember him and also to examine our lives and also partake in the communion in a worthy manner as you just heard the word that are we living for ourselves or are we living for christ is a thought that we need to examine before god before we partake in the lord's table మనము క్రీస్తు కొరకు మనం జీవిస్తూ ఉన్నామా అనేటిది 